This is Ready Player's One treadmill. I can't tell you how many times I watched this clip. Let's watch it. He showed us that we could go somewhere without going anywhere at all. You don't need a destination when you're running on an omnidirectional treadmill with quadraphonic pressure sensitive underlay. Theoretically, it's the perfect VR treadmill. Look how fast he was able to accelerate and decelerate. No treadmill that we have in real life can respond fast enough like the one in the movie. So, how does it work? And can we actually make a treadmill like that? Deep questions that require deep analysis. Let's do that. Let's analyze Ready Player's One treadmill. The first thing you notice about this treadmill is the flat belt design. Now there is the standard flat belt treadmill and there is the slat belt treadmill. The same sort of treadmill that I have. I personally find them more comfortable as they are less rigid than the standard belt treadmill. What's also strikingly obvious that it's a motorized treadmill. Many old treadmills have too much inertia to let you go this fast so seamlessly. And even if they would, once they build up momentum, they would certainly never let you stop this fast. Not without chucking you all the way back. There is also the issue of the harness. Harnesses are there to keep you safe. Without it, it's risky business. Wade would be feeling it, and it would hurt his immersion. What's more, you can see that the harness is taut. It's clearly pulling him back in place. That's actually another problem. Ideally, harnesses act like a safety net. They're there, you might feel it a bit, but they shouldn't be taut or push you back unless you're about to fall. As you can see here, this harness keeps the athlete safe, but it's not taut. So, Wade would most certainly feel his harness. Not the perfect treadmill after all, is it? Well, still far better than what we have in real life. In fact, the closest thing we have resembling this treadmill, not just in terms of technology, but in terms of looks, is the Infinidac. They look strikingly similar, wouldn't you say? Other than the color. The Infinidec was released before the movie, so there is actually a likelihood that the visual design we see in Ready Player One was inspired by the Infinidec. Now, the Infinidec's main problem is predicting when a player is going to accelerate and decelerate and then react in a timely manner. Basically, what this treadmill is able to do, the Infinidec can't quite do. However, theoretically, scientifically and engineering-wise, it should be possible. There are two ways of how I envision that it's possible. The first way is reading the player's mind. It may sound sci-fi, but with the right technology, it's not outside of the realm of possibilities. We are able to do amazing things just with our minds. The cube is live, so let's see if Evan can actually try and imagine pulling. Well, oh, good job! <laughs> But I don't see any sensors attached to his brain, so I'm going to assume it's something else. Another possible solution is by analyzing his body movement and having a software dedicated to predicting his speed at any given moment and controlling the motors accordingly. I find it to be a much more feasible solution. Constructing a software algorithm to analyze and predict movement and having a machine to react fast enough is not far-fetched. There could be plenty of different solutions and ideas, Point is, it's a solvable problem. If our great engineering minds would invest their time and efforts in developing such a treadmill the same way we invest in space exploration, it could easily become a reality. Obviously a non-affordable reality, but still a reality. Alright, now what about jumping? Wade does this little jump to show us that he can jump in this treadmill. Obviously he would hit his head if he jumped any higher, but even if he could jump higher without hitting his head, the harness would still be there to limit him. And what about swimming, crawling, jumping? We see him and other players do that in the virtual world, in the oasis as it's called. But we don't really get to see him in real life during those sequences. Maybe because it's not really feasible to do it on this treadmill. It's not even long enough to be able to crawl on it, unlike the Omnideck. In the movie, there is no universal VR treadmill solution. People in the world of Ready Player One play differently. It also seems some players are able to play seated without moving, which should give them a great advantage as they're not fatigued by running, which makes you wonder 
how is it even fair? For instance, the players in the Mordau game always have a huge advantage over me when I play like this. And in this funny sequence at the beginning of the movie, showing different players without a treadmill, well, you have to wonder how come those players don't run into walls all the time. Well, the answer is that it's a movie and it doesn't concern itself too much with realism. And while it's a fun movie, I'll remind you of how other movies saw the future and then how the future really looked like. So we'll probably, probably see something completely different. <laughs>